On police body cam, you will hear Rose Valentino, a member of the Cincinnati Police Department, according to the Independent. Officer Valentino pulled into the precinct when a group of cars lining up at the nearby Western Hills University High School blocked her way. She puts her siren on to signal she wants to get through. Allegedly, a black teen walked by and gave her the bird. This was her response. You gotta move. Ridiculous. Is she gonna just sit there? Oh, I hate him so much. God, I hate this world. I hate it. Of course, in light of this officer's conduct, the spin has been put on. However, the racism she showed by using racial slurs shows her character. Here's a visual of the officer who is now facing discipline. Not, you know, the relieving of her duties within the Cincinnati Police Department. Local outlet WLWT wrote, Veteran officer Rose Valentino was caught in traffic near a school when she turned on her blue lights that activated her body camera. The video shows that she appears to be agitated and starts swearing. God, I hate this effing world, Valentino said. Then she's heard saying, effing n-words, I effing hate them. She uses the n-word, but then she goes on to say, I hate them. And all this stuff, you know, that is concerning because that says there is a deep Rooted, implicit bias, said Cecil Thomas. Thomas is an Ohio state senator, a former Cincy officer, councilman, and was head of the Law and Safety Committee. She is definitely a liability, Thomas said. When you have someone like that, the biggest issue is, is she going to cost the city at some point? She said effing N-word, but then she said, I effing hate them, I effing hate them, said NAACP president Joe Mallory. When you have that kind of feeling towards someone who doesn't look like you, how can we trust you to police on these streets with a gun? After graduating from U of C, she became a police officer in 08. Valentino received an official reprimand in February 2019 for allegedly using her cell phone at the Hollywood Casino to show her family body cam footage from a homicide scene. She received a second official reprimand in December 2020 following an incident in which she was allegedly involved in a violent argument with her sister and brother-in-law over a card game. Valentino allegedly punched both of them before using an umbrella to batter her brother-in-law's car. Valentina was named in a 2019 federal lawsuit after a realtor and a prospective buyer claimed that she and two other CPD officers detained them on a report of two black males forcing open the front door of a home. The city settled the lawsuit for $151,000. And when we say the city, who do we mean? Taxpayers. So now the spin. This is a hard job, and I was getting to a point where I was really being affected by it, she told investigators, according to the report. I have been on for 14 years. Officer Valentino has maintained that she does not have any racial biases that have affected her work, according to the report. Officer Valentino believes this was a mental episode. Okay, The officer argued she had been desensitized by music and hearing people talk on the street, according to the report. It summarizes her interview statements on the matter as follows. Constant exposure has allowed the slur to slip into Officer Valentino's vernacular. No way, man. She was surprised that it came out in this context, and its use did not represent who Officer Valentino is as a person or how she feels about African Americans. Thomas said even if Valentino gets fired as a result of the disciplinary hearing, she will likely get her job back through arbitration. Thomas said it will then be up to the chief to determine if she goes back out on the street or to a desk job. 